What's up guys? It's me, your favorite fellow Earthling, Austin Hustler Hires, and welcome back to the channel. In today's episode, we're going to be going over some rage room things that I've learned. Some things that we shouldn't do, some things that we should fix before some more stuff happens. Basically the whole system that we've come up with and things that we've learned along the way We're gonna go ahead and show you today along with the updates We've been doing since the last time I uploaded if you're new to the channel and you haven't seen those videos yet Make sure to subscribe down below with the notifications bell on there are some things in life You just can't know until you actually just get into it take a risk and go after it while my wife is loading up bottles into the truck to bring to the rage room I'm gonna be loading up cinder blocks That was nice. Nice little workout. I actually chose to move those bricks two by two, one in each hand because I need a workout. I haven't been working out lately. Isn't that right, babe? Yes, sir. We need to work out some more, huh? Anywho, we are headed to the rage room. No, not to make money. Not to make a profit, not to make a dollar today. But actually, we're gonna go down there and fix an issue that I've been having and also, you know, clean up, bring some extra bottles down there because we've been going through bottles like crazy. Um, so, and we're just getting ready for the next big pop. We'll see you there. As you can tell, we've redesigned this place quite a bit from the walls to the TV screens to the games, all that stuff. We redesigned and we've been having a lot of fun doing it. As I said, today we're not here to play, we're not here to make money, but we are here to keep redesigning. I'm gonna print some more vinyl out for the front windows here because I have more space to fill on this door and some more space over here. So one thing I was gonna do in the very beginning was have a half rage room, half hydro painting um, room here so basically you come in and you can hydro paint stuff but I decided to go a different route and as you can see I'm buying up arcade games to turn this into a half rage room half arcade wow I feel like I just said a mouthful and I probably did so anyways here we go guys um, let me turn the drawer out for a quick and yeah better okay so I don't know if I've showed you guys this room yet in a previous video but just in case I didn't, here are some really cool lockers that I found at a job, one of my junk removal jobs. That's my other business, if you didn't know I had one. Um, I took it out of that, uh, out of the trash, and I painted it, you know? That's like uh, three different colors there, dark blue, light blue, and a pink. So I thought that was pretty cool, and then also I found this at a junk removal, and uh, I'm using this to put like, you know, the, the, um, the coveralls that they take off, and the gloves that they take off, they put in here, so I know which ones have to be washed next. And uh, they use the lockers, obviously, to put like purses, glasses, phones, personal belongings, you know what I'm saying? And over here, I've showed you my helmets before, but this is the shelf I put them on. Really cool. We've got a cool um, Batman and Joker uh, picture right there. Give you a close-up of that. Yeah. Really cool picture. I love Batman. And then we have the Joker over here with his queen. So that's a really cool picture as well. And I found all this in a junk removal, guys, by the way. There's one more picture over here. It's uh, Deadpool. And those are our kids' suits. So, you know, from ages six and up can come in here, and these suits can fit the uh, younger kids and protect them from, you know, flying glass. 
and that's it you know that's pretty much all the new stuff we have in here oh this thing's pretty cool check it out right there on top of my snack machine we got this big old head I think it's like a mascot head you know you put it on at a game but look at those bloodshot eyes dude that that guy be smoking so yeah that's what's new guys this is my vinyl cutter you've seen this in my previous videos if not uh, go look back in my videos and it shows you exactly when I bought this, how much it cost me, and how much it also saved me in doing my own vinyl cutting. It's super easy, guys. I'll show you how to do that right now. It's just going to be a quick version. If you want to see a more detailed version, go look at that video. So basically, I got my laptop has the software on it right here, and then this wire right here plugs into the laptop, into there, the printer, and I have to put my white vinyl paper in there, which I'm going to go get right now. All right, there it is, guys. That's the final product, and this time. Each letter is about as big as my foot, as you can see. I'm going to put this uh, transfer tape on it, and then I'm going to go ahead and stick it on that front window there. They're playing some um, retro arcade games over there, so anywho, let me walk back here real quick. That's another thing too, guys. While we're here at the Rage Room, we're not only like fixing it up, making it better, making improvements, investing into it, um, but we're also answering the phone for the Let It Go Junk Removal side of things, setting up jobs for tomorrow and the next day and next week, um, and getting jobs sold. So this place really just is perfect it's a perfect fit for us it's the perfect fit for anybody that has a junk removal business as well as long as you can figure out the right place to go and the right things to do to get the people in um, we really haven't had to pay for much marketing here which is amazing and we have more and more people coming in every week it's been a little bit slower since like back to school has like started but I think after you know everybody gets settled in goes back to school um, we'll be just as busy as we were during the summer you know, just, just in case anybody's watching this channel and you want to start a rage room, uh, this is something that you definitely want to watch out for. Okay, so we have this cinder block wall over here, and people are supposed to throw it at the cinder block wall, but if you can see, we got a hole, 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 we got a hole there, just push that piece of concrete in, and we've got a really big hole here. So, uh, you know, thankfully I know how to fix this. But I'm not going to fix it until like I actually plan on moving out of this place. So for right now, I'm going to put wood over top of it. And then I'm going to build a makeshift cinder block wall in front of that. And basically paint a stick figure on it and like say toss here type of thing. And then in our instructional video, we'll be adding on make sure you're to throw at this cinder block wall. Those cinder blocks break. We can easily replace those and, and you know take the, the broken one away and put a new one. Um, Anyway, so that's what's going on there. <clears throat> that's the issue that we uh, figured out was happening. And so that's going to be a quick fix. We got plywood on this side. We're going to put plywood on that side. And then we're going to build our own little cinder block wall. That's the issue. Um, and that's the solution to the issue. Well, there's all the cinder block. And uh, as you can see, it's dark outside. The wife's bringing in the rest of the bottles as well. It's a quarter till nine right now and it's getting dark. It's getting late. We're getting tired. So we're gonna build that cinder block wall tomorrow, but at least we have the cinder blocks here. We got a rager today, which we weren't expecting. So it ended up being a really good day. The signature wall, look at this thing. This is one of the uh, walls that we signed here. And there are literally, I think hundreds of signatures on this wall alone. And uh, let's go into the other room here. All right, this is the damage he just did. Looks like you have a piece of furniture there, lots of glass bottles to break, and then the other pieces of furniture you kind of just pile up right there for us. And this is our other signature wall right here. 
hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of signatures. There's a little doggy and a Garfield. And there's a lizard right there. Uh, birthday cake, a big heart. And then down the hallway here, we've got a lots and lots of signatures down the hallway as well. Super awesome. Thank you for everybody that has been to my rage room. If you're watching this YouTube video, thank you so much. And everybody that has subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe to my channel by the end of this video. It's about to end in five, four, three, two, one. Subscribe. Peace out.